Hey, welcome to NBA Nonstop. I am Chelsea, and I just got back from a nice, far, tropical place. Anyways, in the news, Big Baby. Who says that guys can't do beauty treatment? Says Glenn Davis of the Celtics, hey? He goes to get his nails done twice a month and puts lotion on every day. Apparently, it paid off because in the end, at his male cosmetic center, he was spotted by the pros there, and they said, hey, you look good, Glenn. We're gonna give you a contract. And he got a contract. And then Glenn said this, their products give me shape and make me feel like 007. All right, let's talk about big stars. And who I'm talking about? Well, it's gotta be someone in the NBA. Anyways, let's go to the Celtics. And they've just awarded one of the Celtics a community award for their nonstop efforts and work in community. Can you guess who? Of course, it's my man Kevin Garnett because no matter where he is, no matter what city he's in, he's always involved in the community, giving up his support and service. And lately he's done a big ticket challenge for students where he gave away 600 tickets for the fans to go see him free. And for one lucky member, they got to meet him after the game. Oh, and it's exciting. Can you guess what's exciting? Of course, the lottery draft. Who got the number one pick? Well, you know, Chicago did. And hey, it's doing great things for the Bulls because apparently tickets are hot and off the chart. Because of the lottery pick, fans, they want to see the number one draft pick next year. Phones have been off the hook, and in 24 hours, they sold more than 100 season tickets. In case you didn't know, that's a lot. And hey, I don't need to urge you, go buy your tickets to see the number one draft pick. Anyways, we're going to take a little break, but don't go away, because we will be right back. Hey, yo, welcome. Where are we? We're in downtown Singapore at where? The Youth Park. And here we've got a lot of things happening. There's, usually there's a lot of skateboarders, but most of all, it's here known for the graffiti. So, once again, we just saw in Hong Kong the way their graffiti is. So we're gonna take a look at Singapore, the culture difference in their graffiti. Let's go take a look. This park is dedicated to the youth of Singapore. There's a lot of things that's happening. Usually there'll be skateboarders here. There'll be uh, festivals behind me at the stage. A lot of things, but most of all, once again, I said it's for the graffiti, which is on this wall right over here. The big difference in the graffiti in Hong Kong is that when they, when they paint and stuff, uh, it's usually, it's, it's cartoony, it's really exaggerated. If it's a, for example, if it's an eye, they'll draw a big blown up eye, really funky stuff. But in Singapore, the difference is, is that it really looks real. Take a look. For example, I said, hey, maybe you can draw a Hello Kitty for me or something like that. Well, in Hong Kong, maybe they draw a really crazy, funky Hello Kitty, but in Singapore, it's a real cat. Meow. Here's, here's a more, a different style. A different style that's, it's not really a, it's supposed to be a dragon, you know, it's, it's a little more along the lifelines, not the lifelines of a real dragon, but it's a little more cartoony. So, you know, there's little differences in the Singapore and the Hong Kong graffiti, but once again, we've got one more country to go to. You want to see what it looks like in the Philippines for the graffiti. See you in the Philippines. Yo, this is Manila. And check out this beautiful wall of graffiti behind me. Woo, it's beautiful. Hey, before we just checked out Hong Kong, we saw Singapore, and now we're in the Philippines checking out the graffiti. One of the big differences in the Philippines is that their graffiti, it's got a lot of culture stuff inside it. Because in Hong Kong and Singapore, there wasn't really any culture stuff to do. It was just a lot of like trendy, fashionable stuff. So for example, we're in the Las Piñas suburb and you can see they're really proud they showed off one we're in manila and we're in the las piñas suburb also we've got the flag a lot of national pride here in the philippines and the biggest most important thing is we've got a picture of a guy who's like the hero of the philippines 
I guess he's kind of like the equivalent of Magellan. His name is Lapu Lapu. Check him out. He's right here. Woo! He's big and strong. But hey, you know, in my mind, I feel that the real heroes are the people that create and put this stuff on the walls. Right there. Once again, in other news, we'll go into a more serious tone. I've heard that Louis Scola is going to sell some of his jerseys too, actually, and give the benefit, the money, to the people in Sichuan. He's going to be donating one jersey from the Rockets and one of his Olympic jerseys that he'll be apparently wearing at the Beijing Olympics. And in his blog, he said that watching all the things happen, the earthquake, everything, the miracles, and the whole people helping out really moved him, so he figured he'd better help out. And it was actually his friend's idea to donate the jerseys, which he said, is a must, and it's my responsibility. So that's it for NBA non-stop. Well, we're gonna have to stop now, because it's the end. My name is Chelsea, we'll talk to you next time on NBA non-stop. Yo, welcome to Street Challenge, I am Chelsea. Hey, where are we? Check it out, we are in beautiful Singapore at the most famous beach in Singapore, and that's Santosa Beach. But more importantly, what are we doing today? We're doing the Street Challenge, and we need to find the Challenger. So let's go check out the beach and look for the Challenger. And we're doing a little fun little basketball game. Okay. I can't play basketball, seriously. All right, I see Street Challenger. How's it going? Check this out, we're with NBA Hoop Party and we're doing this really cool, fun game, basketball game. It's okay if you take five minutes of your time and come play a basketball game with us. Is it all right? Okay, let's go. Yo, we have finally found our challenger of today. That's my newfound friend. Hello, my name is Huang. Yes. Welcome to Singapore. So what are we gonna play today? We're gonna play a cool game and it's called the blind shot because we're gonna be blindfolded right here, shooting. So, what we need to do first is take a look at the rules. Okay. Yo, all right, so we just looked at our blind shot rules. You understand everything? Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. So me and Mr. Yellow need to go put on our uniform. So let's go change that up right now. Go, let's go. Again, you remember the rules, right? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> okay. All right, so you need to oh, shoot. where am I now? You're right, the basket's right in front of you. Take a shot. Let's go. You got five shots. Oh, good shot. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off for you. Man, like over here, over here. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Yeah? <laughs> the street challenge king. <laughs> That's right, baby. You got okay? Yeah, it's okay. Street king, baby. Level on, Jameson. I didn't hear a sound. Okay, okay, good. Last one? Alright. Both of us are performance is not very good. We figured. Yeah, very difficult. I would still <laughs> take the championship because I'm the street king. But today, because we know when a boss plays the next place, I'm going to give you an official basketball. Oh, thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Take you anyway. So I hope next time for sure. Yeah. Challenge me again. I'll see you. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you next time. See you next time.